here we go. Let's go oil. So we have only two setups in the room. We've had two retracement trades this morning so far. A retracement trade. And we just had one that fired off here. A really nice looking setup. A retracement trade is when we get an opposite color candle that comes in against the trend filter trend. Remember, this is the trend filter. These candles that turn red and green have ingredients already put into the So since we have the candles that turn green and red automatically for you, those ingredients, the trend filters automatically built into the candle. So when a, a candle turns green, it lets you know that if it's against the trend filter, those are counter trend traders coming in the market and we want to play against them. We want to take the opposite side of the trade. So if the trend filter is down, the easy way to tell if you get the small MA cross down through the intermediate, that means typically you are in a downtrend. This is a squeeze play right here that happened to squeeze. That's when the smaller comes up to the intermediate and touches it. And it lets you know that we are in a downtrend. So we've been in a downtrend uh, since midnight on crude oil. So that tells you not to take any longs. You don't want to take any buys. You want to take only shorts. We only want to take short side setups. The only two trades we look at is a called a retracement trade and a momentum trade. A retracement trade is very simply you'll wait for an opposite color candles to come in and then you start watching your symmetry chart over here. If you come within two ticks of the symmetry, you know you're in a deep retracement. So you can look to for, uh, for the Fibonacci arrows to fire on both of these charts. Mainly, your you want to see happen. You want to come within two ticks of symmetry, and then you get a market delta to fire in. And what will happen is when market delta, you'll want to see a negative market delta come in the trade. So here we had a momentum trade. Here is a I do uh, I reset the system so it doesn't show market delta below. But there was a negative market delta on this one. And then you can see the red bar, that was the entry, your stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. I do have a small moving average on there now, where if you want to have confirmation it's rolling over, you can wait till the small MA closes a partial candle close to let you know the momentum's coming in the market. So that called the high there, stop loss, two ticks above the swing high. The next trade was a momentum trade. A momentum trade is characterized as when you have all red candles, the market's too weak, and you have a shallow retracement. So this happened at this level right here where we have the indecision bar. I did a video on this. The indecision bar is where you get buyers equaling sellers. It looks like a vertical line on the chart. And if that happens at a momentum trade, uh, which is negative market delta there also, that was a setup, then you have another setup. So those are the two entries this morning on crude. Stop loss, two ticks above the swing high here. Or if you want confirmation, you can elect to enter with the MA on trend days that closes a partial candle close below. All right, so on a momentum trade, you can see that the difference in a momentum and a retracement trade, there are all red candles. So if there are all red candles, that means they're marking the market down. The market's really, really weak. So how we can do it is we can use this far right chart over here <clears throat> to let us know when we're in a Fibonacci retracement. So this is where it fired off. I had an indecision candle right here where the buyers equal the sellers and a Fibonacci arrow. So that is a perfect alignment to take that short. And then you can place your stop two ticks above that swing high. <clears throat> so that worked out really, really well on both trades right there. You had a momentum trade, which we use the Fibonacci arrows off the three sim on momentum trades. Just remember, momentum trades are characterized as all red candles on the trend chart and you want to see them tick intra bar back up to the, the smaller MA and then you have a continuation. Now right now you see the counter trend traders are coming in again to pump the market up so we are now in a retracement trade right now. So what we want to do is we want to now start following the symmetry dots. We're within two ticks of symmetry, negative market delta and we have another trade on our hands as we speak. So that's how you want to do it. You want to do a retracement trade and a momentum trade. All right.